what is going on YouTube today I'm gonna be uh, basically showing my live reaction to this career mode trailer that they have out um, so we're two minutes away right now and honestly I haven't been this excited for career mode for a while we haven't had a an official trailer like this since um, what FIFA 7 FIFA 14 15 was it um, we had yeah, two minutes away from the premiere uh let's see what happens in this in this trailer let's see what let's see what we get for career mode i feel like for most of us uh fifa fans this is do or die time um either we we see some Im great improvements for career mode or we just don't get the game at all honestly if i don't i'm not impressed by this um i'm probably not gonna get the game and um yeah or until somebody else plays it or something and then or whatever, but most likely I will I won't, probably will not be buying the game, De depending on this trailer. So let's see. Let's go. Manage every moment in FIFA 21 career mode with a new interactive match sim, right, more right, control right, of the training in. and developing your squad, okay. and more ways to sign players on the transfer market. Exactly. Ready for a whole new way to play out your career? The brand new interactive match sim gives you full control when simming matches. Okay. Jump in and out of the action when you decide to change the course of the game. Or take charge for key moments to dominate the moments that matter. Right, Keep an eye on match stats and um, player performance levels. And make subs or tactical changes whoa. on the fly to influence the outcome of the match. All right. A new player growth system puts you in charge of your squad's development. Spotted a gap in your team? Turn marauding fullbacks into wingers and goal scoring midfielders into false nines with new position training. All right. And new development plans give you control over each player's growth to help you build your squad's attributes okay. to match your style of play. Manage your team schedule and train multiple players at the same time with a new activity management system. Choose when to rest and when to train throughout the week as you balance your players' morale and fitness with match sharpness. A new stat that shows you how likely players are to perform at their peak. Then boost it with group training sessions, monitor your players' progression, and find that sweet spot with fitness and morale to keep your team firing on all cylinders. Damn. <laughs> That's something really interesting to take care of. Whether you're all about the Galacticos or the hunt for the brightest young prospects, new options give you more ways to transfer players and a more realistic transfer market in FIFA 21. Sign players on loan to buy deals and negotiate player swap offers with other managers to bolster your squad each transfer window. Okay, more better transfer options. That's, that's okay. Overhauled opposition AI gives you a more intelligent opponent to play against in every match you play. New tackling, player switching, and marking logic makes opposition defenses harder to break down. And at the other end of the pitch, more intelligent attackers have a stronger understanding of <coughs> dribbling and passing to keep you on your toes from game to game. Yeah, I'm gonna lose With all With new ways to train, <laughs> play, and make transfers, manage every moment of your career in FIFA 21. Is that it? Well, that was pretty unexpected. Mm. I don't know. I don't think that was really impressive, if I'm honest. I guess if we take a look at this, um, this is really the player development. That was kind of the best part that I saw from the trailer. Um, so we're growing these positions for uh, certain players, like defensive wide back uh, for Arnold here. Uh, this active training seems pretty decent. I guess you can just manage, I guess there's just more things that you can take care of, right? The more things that you have to take a look at. Um, not necessarily, I, I mean, I haven't tried it obviously, so S visually or just looking at it from the trailer, I don't think I'm going to be a big fan of this. It is something that improves the game a bit, but straight off the bat, I don't think it's going to be something that I, I will like, but I don't know. I mean, I think it's just more of a visual thing, really. They just added this i feel like it's basically the same thing that uh that was there with the fitness sharpness is a new thing i think um correct me if i'm wrong but it doesn't necessarily look like uh the best thing but i haven't i guess i have to try it out to see also active training 
looks like something it could be cool i mean just more i guess more you just waste a little bit more time really i hope you can simulate this a little bit or so so it kind of tells you who's in form who's not um didn't see a simulation button down there it looks like you have new ways to buy the buy players and deal with transfers this way um so if you stop it here it says let's discuss alternative options to let sinjenko go we want 6.8 million how do i take this off um and we'd also like to sign suma as part of the deal i guess you can uh so i guess you can actually get two players at a time or you can ask for another player if one of the clubs is asking for one of your players so um in this example they showed chelsea trying to buy Zinjenko, but then manchester city want um kurt zuma so i guess they were like oh we can get 6.8 for Zinjenko, but then we also want Zuma, so what would you guys want for that? This is what I'm, uh, what's it called? This is what I'm imagining it works as. So I guess then you'd basically just work off uh, a deal from there. So that's 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 a lot better. Um, that's a lot better, and that and the transfer policies. I hope obviously I hope they can add the different loan systems, different. I hope they can add like buyback clauses or some sort of. Um, what's it called yeah like bye bye clauses and other things but i heard they were going to add that but let's just see what happens in the end so this trailer didn't really give us a lot so i guess we just have to end up looking out for more career more details until the game is released so i guess it's just going to be a bit harder for us to defend and a bit uh yeah just a bit harder for us to control the game as well so um we're gonna let's just see how legendary he is in this game um let's just see what happens so it looks like it's gonna be a lot just a lot harder to defend in my opinion that's what it looks like but yeah honestly um i like it just because <laughs> they gave us a trailer and something to look for but so far not necessarily something i'm it didn't impress me it didn't impress me but I guess we just have to look out for more career mode details until the game actually comes out. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Um, yeah, definitely not something I'm from this trailer. Not something I actually like that much. I like the jumping into into, into games <laughs> and maybe this part as well. Maybe I like this part. Maybe you can coach different players or be a real coach. Sorry, maybe you can be a real coach. Um, but let's just see. We weren't really given any clear details like most of the other game modes. So, um, yeah, we just have to look out for more details. Look out for that. Um, yeah, like I said, from first impression, impressions, not necessarily impressed. Uh, so, yeah, let's take a look at it. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. <laughs> I'm not really asking for it. But, yeah, uh, let's see what FIFA 21 gives us. Peace.